Roman Catholic and Christians are devil worshippers, and I'm about to prove it to you with scripture. To understand why Roman Catholic and Christians are devil worshippers, you have to go back in time to the beginning of Christianity and Catholicism. Constantine is a man who made Christianity and Catholicism. So if you look at the Constantine Creed, this is what you have to say and do to become a Christian slash Roman Catholic. I'm not going to read it. You can screenshot. But look what it says at the bottom. Okay. Also, to be a Roman Catholic slash Christian, you had to denounce Yahushua HaMashiach as your Messiah. You also had to stop doing the Sabbath and adopt new Roman you know, practices. As I said, you can take a screenshot and read it. So this is Acts 16, 17. This talks about when Yahushua's disciples were casting out demons in Yahushua's name. And the Romans got mad at this. Having followed Saul... And us, she cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Mighty One, who proclaim to us the way of deliverance. And she was doing this for many days. But Saul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach to come out of her. And it came out that hour. But when her master saw that the, their anticipation of money making was gone, they seized Saul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the rulers. And having brought them to the captains, they said, These men, being Udom, which means Jews, greatly disturb our city. And they proclaim practices which are not right for us to do, being Romans. Now, why does it say this? As you just saw, in order to be a Roman, you have to take this creed. And yet to denounce Yahusha HaMashiach, yet you say he was not your savior anymore. You have to follow a new one. Now the whole idea behind church in itself is a joke. You do not need a building to pray to the Most High. And scripture does talk about that and I will show you guys. You build your pagan shrines on every street corner. Right? I mean, there's a church every block, literally, right? And your altars to idols in every square. In fact, you have been so you have been worse than a prostitute, so eager for sin that you have not even demanded payment. And that's true. When you go to a church, they don't make you pay. You can walk in there for free, right? All right, this is 2 Corinthians 3:16. Do you not know that you are a dwelling place of the mighty one and that the spirit of the mighty one dwells in you? If anyone destroys the dwelling place of the mighty one, the mighty one shall destroy him. For the dwelling place of the mighty one is set apart, which you are. All right, this is 2 Corinthians 6, 19. Do you not know that your body is the dwelling place of the set apart spirit who is in you, which you have from the mighty one and, not, and you are not on your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore, esteem the mighty one in your body and in your spirit, which are of the mighty one. Right, and the holidays. The holidays are also pagan in Catholic and um, Christian religion. This uh, specific verse talks about Christmas. For the laws of these people are worthless. Christmas is worthless. For one cuts a tree from the forest. People used to do that. Now they go buy a plastic one at Walmart, but people used to cut down trees, right? As talking about a Christmas tree, for the work of the hands of a craftsman with a cutting tool, cut it down with an axe or a saw. They beautify it with silver and gold. They strengthen it with nails and hammers so that it does not topple. It's talking about little uh, wrap stuff and ornaments. And then they are they are like rounded like a rounded post, and they do not speak. They have to be carried because they do not walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they do no evil, nor is it in them to do any good. All right, and people, people will say that Yahuwah does not care if you do Christmas or Easter or whatever. This is what Yahuwah thinks about, the, thinks about those holidays. I have hated, I have despised your festivals, and I am not pleased with your assemblies. 
Though you offer me ascendings and offerings, or ascending offering, excuse me, and your grain offerings, I do not accept them, nor do I look on your fattened peace offerings. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I do not hear the sound of your stringed instruments. Right, and then some Christians would be like, well, he's not like that anymore. Yahusha, Yahusha HaMashiach, the Messiah, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will never change. He'll never change his laws, never change his name, none of that. Some people will hear this message, turn the ear away, disregard it, whatever. But this is what Yahuwah thinks if you disregard this. He who turns away his ear from hearing the Torah, that means the word, right? The Bible. Even his prayer is an abomination. You're an abomination if you don't listen to the, the word, the Bible. Right? And a lot of Christians eat pork. This is what scripture says about pork. And the pig is unclean for you because it has a split hoof but does not chew the cud. means grass. You do not eat their flesh. Or touch their dead carcass. That's how disease riddled they are. And I'll show you guys that. I don't, this might get taken down. But this is what uh, pig feces looks like. Look at all those worms. That's why when you eat pork, you're going to get sick, man. Because you're going to be getting worms all up in your body, man. Here's a screenshot from Google about the parasites that um, pigs can carry. And the stuff that it can cause. Irritation. Indigestion. Lack of appetite. And then you're going to, of course, be infected with these parasites. Hallelujah, everybody. Thank you, Yahuwah, for this beautiful message. And I hope this reaches everyone. If you like this video, follow button somewhere. Throw a follow, throw a like, comment down, and I'll reply. Thank you.